Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 6.7 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 6.7 is called Comparing Fractions and we already actually in our last lesson 6.6 .6, learned how to compare fractions using benchmarks and we kind of practice without models as well. And so this time we're going to go just a little bit further with comparing our fractions. So we're going to start here with the Unlock the Problem. It says every year Avery School has a fair. This year three-eighths of the booths had face painting and one-fourth of the booths had sand art. Were there more booths with face pa painting or sand art? So we want to see which one is greater, three-eighths or one-fourth. So the first way is the way that I taught you for Lesson 6.6. .6. And that is to change those fractions so that they have a common denominator. So it says here, when two fractions have the same denominator, they have equal sized parts and you can compare them. So we're going to change our 1 fourth into eighths because we have 3 eighths already to compare. So we want to change 1 fourth to have the same denominator so it needs to have eighths. So what do I do to my 4 to make it into an 8? What do I multiply it by? On my, I will multiply the 4 times 2 to make it into an 8. And we know when we're dealing with fractions, anything that you do to the bottom, you also have to do to the top. So I'm going to have to do 1 times 2, which will be 2 eighths. So now I have two fractions with the same denominators, 3 eighths and 2 eighths, same denominators, so I can easily compare them. So I can shade in my model over here to show 3 eighths, 1, 2, 3, and shade in my model over here to show 2 eighths. And I easily can look at my numerators and see that a 3 is greater than a 2. So 3 eighths is greater than 2 eighths. So that's the first way to compare fractions. You change them to have common denominators. And now, scooting down to the bottom of page 253, let's look at another way. We can change the numerators. So we have common numerators. And it says, when two fractions have the same numerator, they represent the same number of parts. You can compare the size of the parts. So it says, think 3 is a multiple of both. Oops. Let me change over to my pencil. It says, think, 3 is a multiple of both 3 and 1. Use 3 as a common numerator. Because remember, our fractions that we're trying to compare are 3 eighths and 1 fourth. 3 eighths and 1 fourth. So we want to change the numerators. And we're saying, let's change them both to 3. So my 3 eighths is already done. I'm going to just color it in over here, 3 eighths. Now I want to change my 1 fourth to have a 3 in the numerator. So I just ask myself, what do I do to this 1? What do I multiply it by to get a 3? I multiply it by 3. So you know if you do it to the top, you also need to do it to the bottom. So 4 times 3 is 12. So 1 fourth, we can also say, is 3 twelfths. So now I can color in. 3 twelfths over here, and it doesn't look like they actually did this into twelfths. Let me draw some more down here to actually make it twelfths. Right now we only got eighths. We need twelfths. Okay, so 3 twelfths if I color this in. Now I can see that 3 eighths is greater than 3 twelfths. So, since 3 eighths is greater than 1 fourth, our original 1 fourth, which we changed into 3 twelfths, there were more booths with face painting. So the way that we figured that out was we either changed to common denominators or common numerators. Now let me give you a trick. Let me go back really quick to this common numerators. When we're dealing with fractions, if you have a, it's kind of the opposite of counting. Normally, if you were to just count and you got up to 8 and you got up to 12, you would say 12 is more. 
But when we're talking about fractions, as long as they have the same numerator, which these ones have the same numerator, if you have a smaller number on the bottom, that actually means larger because you're cutting the whole into less pieces. So you'll get bigger pieces or larger pieces. So that's just a little trick. If you have a common numerator, you can just look at the denominators to see which one is bigger and the bigger will actually be the smaller number. Hopefully that's not too confusing. So if you're in my class, I want you to write down the password dog in your planner. And also you should have filled out page 253 as you are watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thanks.